See that? Bull shark. Got me while I was taking samples. I got something for you. That's the thrasher. Thrasher's tail. Shoot! Thrasher? It's a shark. Ah, uh, do you want a drink? Drink to your leg? Ah, uh, we'll drink to our legs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got the creme de la creme. Right here. You're wearing a sweater. You see that? Mary Ellen Moffat. She broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? What? That one there on your arm. Uh, I got a tattoo removed. What did it say? Oh, whatever. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Hooper, USS Indianapolis. You were on the Indianapolis? What happened? A Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side, Chief. It was coming back from the island of Tinian Delaney. Just delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. 1,100 men went into the water. The vessel went down in 12 minutes. You can see the first shark for about a half an hour. Tiger shark, 13 footer. You know that when you're in the water, you tell by looking for the dorsal to the tail. Well, we didn't know. Because our bomb mission had been so secret, no distress signal had been sent. They didn't even list us overdue for a week. Very first light, Chief. Sharks come cruising. So we formed ourselves into tight groups. You know, it's kind of like old squares in the battle, like you see on a calendar, like the Battle of Waterloo. And the idea was shark nearest men, they'd start pounding and hollering and screaming, and sometimes the shark would go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Sometimes that shark looks right into you. Right into your eyes. The other thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, the doll's eyes. He comes at you. You don't seem to be living until he bites you. you have black eyes all over the white. And then uh, you hear the terrible high pitched screaming, and the ocean turns red. Despite all the pounding and the hollering. Come in and rip you to pieces. I know by the end of the first dawn, I lost a hundred men. I don't know how many sharks, maybe a thousand. I don't know how many men, they average six an hour. On Thursday morning, Chief, I bumped into a friend of mine, Herbie Robinson from Cleveland, baseball player, Boston's mate. Thought he was asleep. Reached over to wake him up. Bobbed up and down in the water, which is kind of like a top. Ended up, well, he'd been bitten in half below the waist. Noon the fifth day, Mr. Hooper. Lockheed Ventura saw us. He swung in low and he came in. He's a young pilot, a lot younger than Mr. Hooper anyway. He saw us and he came in low. Three hours later, a big fat PBY comes down. You know, that was the time I was most frightened. Waiting for my turn. I never put on a life jacket again. 1,100 men went into that water. 316 came out. The sharks took the rest. June 29, 1945. Anyway, we delivered the bomb. 